Good afternoon, friends. I hope this daily connection finds you well. I am learning to live into the spiritual practice of adapting. And the reason I say that is I plan on doing one thing and find out that I have forgotten the books in my office and I'm now working at home or I'm at home and I can't find what I'm looking for because it's been moved or I'm working in my office and I left the stuff at home. And so you start adapting. Well, what else could I say or do? What else could I pull from? Who else have I been talking to or thinking about or listening to? You start learning to adapt, to think outside the box, to remember that you have, that we have resources and places and things and people that we didn't necessarily think we knew, but once we start talking and listening and asking questions and being curious, opportunities and possibilities arise. That's my thought for today, and I'm thinking maybe that really is a spiritual practice, to adapt and to do so knowing that we are not alone in this process of adapting and living in a way that is so much different than what we normally would have done pre-March 2020. So as I was thinking about what to um, read to you, say to you on this day, because usually Wednesdays I read a children's book, I came across um, a, a devotional that was written by Cameron Trimble that I'd like to share with you. And she writes the following. In times of cultural transition, stories become trusted guides into the wisdom of the soul. Many years ago, famed pastor and preacher, Dr. Harry Emerson Fosdick, told a story that's been playing in my mind recently. And Fosdick writes the following. On the slope of Long's Peak in Colorado, lies the ruin of a gigantic tree. Naturalists tell us that it stood for some 400 years. It was a seedling when Columbus landed at San Salvador and half grown when the pilgrims settled at Plymouth. During the course of its long life, it was struck by lightning 14 times and the innumerable avalanches and storms of four centuries thundered past it. It survived them all. In the end, however, an army of beetles attacked the tree and leveled it to the ground. The insects ate their way through the bark and gradually destroyed the inner strength of the tree by their tiny but incessant attacks. A forest giant which age had not withered, nor lightning blasted, nor storms subdued, fell at last before beetles so small that a man could crush them between his forefinger and his thumb. And then Cameron Trimble continues to write, most of us can survive times of crisis we summon the strength of faith and resolve for most any battle that we face. It is the small things like gossip, suspicion, lies, and negativity that eat us from the inside and bring us about our downfall. It seems our world and certainly the United States is facing a critical choice. How shall we treat one another? What behavior will we reward and reject in our leaders? Will we continue to allow the lies, name-calling, attacks, and gossip? We may be a powerful nation, but it's these seemingly small things that will bring us down. I pray we learn the lesson of this story while we still have time for it to make a difference. We are in this together. And what I'm struck about this story for today is that if I didn't pivot, if I didn't adapt from what I was going to be otherwise sharing with you today, I would have not read that story, recognizing that, yeah, it is the little things that could really do a great deal of damage. And yet we know that we are so much better together in this, in our congregation, in our communities, in our places in which we live so that we can notice things and then do something about it. 
So my friends, on this day, as we try to figure out what we're going to do, as we try to live in a pandemic, as we are so isolated from one another, as we're trying to make a way out of no way, may we be reminded that there is a spiritual practice of adapting. And as we adapt, we are able to see great possibility. Possibility in things, places, people that we have never imagined. May God's light and love be with you on this day as we continue to work together, to work with intentionality and to do so out of great love. God's light and love be with you on this day and I'll see you tomorrow.